Another important issue with cats and food, for you today. It's all about salty things and how they can be totally fatal to me, coffee cat, and all felines. Here's what I know about salt toxicity in cats. Salt toxicity in cats is considered moderate to severe, according to the Pet Poison Helpline. Salt is very bad for us and although Garfield the orange cartoon cat had a salt lip block, this is a really harmful and seriously incorrect idea. For a small cat, 1 to 10 pounds, more than 0.05 tablespoons of salt could be toxic. For a large cat, 11 to 25 pounds, more than 0.5 tablespoons of salt could be toxic. More than this can be fatal. It's important to note that salt toxicity can occur from various sources, not just table salt. These include Canned tuna packed in salted water It's easy to make this mistake. Certain food products, particularly human foods, high in salt. Cats with poor hydration or limited access to water are at higher risk of salt toxicity because there's less chance of being able to dilute the ingested salt. Signs of salt toxicity in cats can appear within 3 hours of ingestion and may include vomiting, diarrhea, lethargy, excessive thirst, tremors, and in severe cases, seizures, coma or worse. If you suspect your cat has ingested a toxic amount of salt, it's crucial to contact your veterinarian or a pet poison helpline immediately. Treatment typically involves careful fluid therapy and monitoring of electrolytes. Here are some foods that can contain too much salt for cats. Processed meats ham, bacon, salami, pepperoni, hot dogs, and sausages are generally too high in salt for cats. Canned tuna packed in salted water this can contain excessive amounts of salt for cats. Table scraps or human foods. Many human foods are seasoned with salt and can be too salty for cats. Homemade play dough or salt dough. These can contain dangerous levels of salt if ingested. Certain canned cat foods. Some commercial cat foods, which you should be able to trust, may contain higher levels of sodium than necessary, though most reputable brands formulate their foods with appropriate sodium levels. Always read the labels. You'll get to know which brands are safest for your small friends. Cats can develop a taste preference for salty foods, but it's important to note that this is not healthy or recommended for them. Here are some more important facts about cats and salty foods. Cats can develop a distinct liking for salty foods, especially if they've been exposed to them from a young age or repeatedly over time. This preference can be learned and reinforced through positive experiences with salty treats. We like to partake in the things you enjoy. Unlike humans, cats don't have a strong biological need for salt in their diet. Their natural prey, meat and fish, provides all the sodium they require. Cats have fewer taste buds than humans or dogs, but they can still detect salty flavors. However, their ability to taste salt may not be as refined as their ability to taste other flavors like bitter or umami, or meat tastes. While cats might enjoy the taste of salty foods, it's crucial to understand that salt can be deadly to cats. Excessive salt intake can lead to serious health issues, including Vomiting Diarrhea Decreased appetite Lethargy excessive thirst or urination. In severe cases, tremors, seizures, coma, and even death. Again, because this bears repeating. The toxic dose of salt for cats is only 2 to 3 grams per kilogram of body weight, with 4 grams per kilogram potentially being fatal. This is a tiny amount, considering how much salt a lot of processed foods have. Common salty foods that cats might be attracted to, but should avoid, include processed meats, like ham or bacon, potato chips, and canned tuna packed in salted water. 
It's best to avoid giving cats any human foods high in salt and stick to a balanced, nutritionally complete cat food diet. If you want to give treats, choose cat-specific treats or small amounts of unseasoned, cooked lean meats. Remember, just because a cat likes a certain food doesn't mean it's safe or healthy for them. We may like something a lot but we don't always know what's best for us. It's always best to consult with a veterinarian, if it comes to that, about appropriate diets and treats for your cat. Here are some of the things which I used to think were fine, but my research has taught me different. Hot dogs. These lovely smelling things are particularly not safe or recommended for cats to eat. They contain several ingredients that can be harmful to cats. High fat content can cause digestive upset and contribute to obesity. High sodium levels can lead to dehydration and more serious health issues if consumed in large amounts. Preservatives Many hot dogs contain nitrates, which may increase cancer risk. Seasonings often include garlic and onion powder, which are extremely toxic to cats. Even small amounts of hot dog can be problematic. While a tiny piece as a rare treat is unlikely to cause immediate harm, it's still not advisable. The high salt content and preservatives make hot dogs a truly unhealthy choice for cats. Safer alternatives for cat treats include Plain, lean, white meats like chicken or turkey, without skin, bones, or seasoning. Boiled, unseasoned chicken or beef cut into small pieces. It's important to remember that cats have different nutritional needs than humans. Their bodies aren't adapted to process many of the ingredients found in hot dogs. A balanced diet specifically formulated for cats is essential for their health. If you want to share food with your cat, it's best to stick to cat-specific treats or small amounts of plain, cooked meats without any seasonings or additives. While cats may be attracted to the smell of hot dogs, they are not a safe or healthy food for felines. It's best to avoid feeding hot dogs to cats and instead provide them with a balanced diet designed for their specific nutritional needs. I think you may have worked this out from the hot dog comments, but all processed meats are bad for cats. Processed meats are generally not recommended as a regular part of a cat's diet. These include meats preserved by salting, smoking, curing, or adding chemical preservatives. The main concerns with feeding processed meats to cats include High salt content, which can lead to salt poisoning and other health issues. High fat content, potentially leading to obesity and other health problems. Presence of preservatives and additives that may be harmful to cats. Specific processed meats and their suitability for cats are Ham should not be given to cats due to high fat and salt content. Bacon can be given in very small amounts occasionally, but not regularly. Salami and pepperoni unhealthy for cats due to fat content and spices. Hot dogs as I mentioned before, are not recommended due to low quality meat and high fat content. Sausages should be avoided due to high sodium, fat, and potentially harmful spices. Deli meats can be given as an occasional treat in moderation, but should not replace a balanced diet. When offering deli meat, choose lean, least processed options. Limit treats to 10 to 15% of the cat's total daily calories. Avoid spoiled or expired meat. And, of course, consult with a veterinarian if the cat has health issues. Better alternatives for cat treats include Cooked lean meats like chicken or turkey Cooked fish, in moderation Small amounts of cooked eggs And certain fruits and vegetables, example, cantaloupe or green beans While cats may enjoy processed meats, and may show a strong desire to share with you, they are not a healthy or recommended part of their regular diet it's best to stick to a balanced, nutritionally complete cat food and offer safer, healthier treats in moderation. 
Salt poisoning is serious and as I stated before, can be fatal. I know we may beg and plead, but we don't really know what's good for us. We will need to rely on you for these sensible decisions. Thank you for helping us with our daily needs and for not letting us pass away from our incorrect choices. Lots of love. Coffee Cat